Welcome to getting ready for fourth grade math like a boss. We are on week seven, day 31. So week seven out of eight, day 31 out of 40. That means that we are almost there. Today we are going to be working on fraction equivalence and comparison. Um, so just to let you know that this, this video is part of a 40 day or eight week program. You can download the workbook instantly by clicking the link below and um, these videos are to help you out so that way you can be a PRO at fourth grade math. Now it's not everything that you need to learn in fourth grade but if you learn these you're going to be like the best in your class. You'll have a really good foundation. So let's get to our boss notes now people. Let's do this. Ba -ba 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 boss notes! Alright, so we are going to be talking about some fractions, so let's make sure that we know the parts and a little bit of stuff about fractions. Alright, so I've given you the example of 2 fraction bar 5. Okay, you would read this as 2 fifths. 2 fifths. This top part is going to be, it's the amount that's being considered. It's going to be labeled as our numerator. And the one that is down, 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 below is our down denominator. Our denominator is the total number of equal parts. Denominator down. 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 So, and below I have a little rectangle, and we are going to label the parts of this. We're actually going to model this fraction, two-fifths. So, let's start with my denominator, which is the total number of equal parts. So, I need to divide this rectangle into my denominator, my total number of equal parts, which is five. So, I'm going to make five equal slices. Five equal parts, okay? And the part that I am considering, the amount that I'm considering, is 2. So that's how many I'm going to shade in. 2 fifths, and that is how you would model it. Okay? Let's get to where we are comparing these fractions and determining whether they are equal or not. Let's do it. Okay, so it's time to learn it. Number 1, we are comparing 1 fourth and 2 thirds using less than, greater than, or equal to. And we're going to model these with a drawing. I just dropped my marker. Hold up. I'm back. <laughs> okay. So to do this, I'm going to draw one rectangle. One rectangle. And I'm going to divide this in half because I'm going to compare my one-fourth on top and my two thirds on the bottom. Okay, so start with my denominator is 4. It's also even, which means I can start by going right down the middle. And if it's divided into 4 parts, I can do 2 on this side and 2 on this side. What am I considering in my numerator? 4. So I'm going to shade in 1 out of those 4 parts. That's how you model 1 fourth. Now, my denominator for my second fraction is 3. 3 is an odd number, so I can't cut it right in half. But I can try to split it as best as I can. That looks pretty good. All right, maybe a little bit over. You want to try to get as accurate as you can with these, and it's going to take some practice. There, that's a little bit better. And I'm shading in two of these parts. So one, two, and which one? is um, greater, <laughs> the two-thirds. So because of that, we're going to get our little alligator mouth chomping at two-thirds because we always want to eat the greater one. So one-fourth is less than two-thirds, and we can see that in our model. Let's do number two. So now for number two, people, I am comparing two-thirds and four, four, four-sixths. 
I'm going to model it with a drawing. Draw a rectangle. straight at the bottom. We want to make this as good as we can get it without being too paranoid about it. Okay, so I split it in half because I have two fractions. I'm going to do two thirds up top, squiggle, squiggle, and four six down below. So two thirds. My denominator is three, which is odd, which means that I cannot break it in half. I just got to try to draw it the best I can. Boom and boom. That's pretty good. My numerator is two, so I'm shading in two. One, a two. Now for four six, my denominator is six. So I can cut it right down the middle because that is an even number. I'm gonna do three on this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm shading in four. One, two, three. Four. And if you notice, it looks like these are pretty close to being equal. If you think they're pretty close, let me give you a little math trick. You can do it over to the side. Take your two fractions. Okay, start from your denominator of your first. Shoot an arrow up. Two and multiply. Three times four is twelve. Now over here, six. Get your arrow ready, shoot it. Achoo! Up to two. Six times two is 12. If your two products are equal, that means that those two are indeed equal. That works. All right, let's try number three in the practice it section. Actually, you can try number three first and then come back and meet me. All right, number three, we've got seven eighths and five six that we are comparing. Make your rectangle. Divide it in half. We're going to do seven eighths on top. Squiggle, squiggle. Five six on the bottom. All right, so start with my denominator of my first fraction. That is eight. So eight is even. I can split it in half. And I can do four on this side and four on this side. Bam. And shade in seven. One, two, three, four, cinco, seis, siete. All right. And then the next one is five, six. Six is my um, denominator. Let me split it in half because it's even. And I'll do three on this side. Three on this side and shade in five. One, two, three, four, five. And look how close that is. That's pretty close. So let me do my trick over here. Five, six. Take an arrow from the bottom, shoot it. Eight times five is 40. Take an arrow from the bottom, shoot it. Six times seven is 42. And the side with 7 eighths is 42. That's the greater product. So 7 eighths is actually the greater one, which is what our model proved here too. Moving right along. For the practice that you should have tried this one on your own and now you're just checking in. So I'm comparing 1 half and 2 fourths. I need to model these. What do I need to draw? A rectangle. Rectangle. Okay. What do I do with this rectangle? Split it in half. Why do I do that? Because I'm going to compare one fraction on top and one fraction on the bottom. First fraction is one half. The second fraction down here that I'm comparing is two fourths. Okay, what's my denominator for one half? My denominator is two, so that's how many parts I divide into. Split it in half. Because it's even. How many do I shade in? Well, my numerator is one, so I shade in one. Okay. Down here, two fourths. What's my denominator? Four. Is that even or odd? Even, which means I can split it in half and do two on this side and two on this side. And how many equal parts do I shade in? Or do I consider? That's my numerator, that would be two. 
And boy, oh boy, do those look even. They sure do look even, so let's put them to my even test. One half, two fourths, two times two is four, four times one is four. They are equal, which means that these two fractions are equal. That is how you do it. So you modeled this two ways, one with cross multiplication, originally with the model problem. And some of you might be saying, well, why can't I just do cross multiplication? That's so much easier than drawing it out. Yes, but I want you to have an understanding of what these fractions look like. The more that you draw them, the better you will be when it comes to fractions. So don't just stick to this part. I want you drawing them out too. One more. Number five. Last one. Number five. One third compared to three tenths. What do I draw? I draw a rectangle. To compare them, it'll be so much fun. A little wavy down here. Let me fix that. All right. Half. Which fraction am I going to put up here? One third. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Which fraction do I put down here? Three tenths. All right. How do I draw this? What should it look like? Right. It should be divided into three parts with one shaded. Three parts with one shaded. How about here? Three tenths. It should be divided into ten parts with three shaded. Ten is even. So I'm going to do split down the middle. Do five on this side, five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shade in three. Okay, now it looks like one third is slightly bigger. Let's put it to my cross multiplication test. Achoo! Nine. Achoo! Ten. One third is greater because it has ten when I multiply it. Ooh. So that's how you do this one. I want you to try days 32, 33, 34, 35. And by the end of day 35, you should be a boss at comparing fractions and finding if they are equivalent or not. B message right now. Bam. Today's B message is to be grateful like a boss. Being grateful means that you are thankful for what you have. And it's not happy people who are thankful. It's thankful people who are happy. So remember, be grateful for what you have. Work hard for what you don't have. Stop complaining and start working towards your goals. After all, gratitude is the best attitude. Bye, everybody.